Hello, I'd like to meditate with you today. Today's meditation will be on painting a picture. I'd like to remind you that I'm not a meditation teacher. I'm a student who's been meditating for the last nine years and would like to meditate with you and share my experience with meditation. My teacher taught me that you can meditate anywhere, anytime, on anything. So I thought it'd be fun to meditate with you on painting a picture. It's going to be abstract because I think it's more easy to just go with the flow without having to fixate on the results of the painting, which is super important. We don't want to have judgment. We don't want to have expectation. The purpose of meditation is to be happy and free from suffering and to wish that for all other beings in the world and in the universe. So with that in mind, we'll pick up our paint. And as I pick up my paint, I'm going to remind you what awareness is. Awareness is the basis of meditation. And awareness is the knowingness. The thing in your mind that knows what you're doing, saying, thinking at any given moment. So right now, I'm talking to you and that's what I'm thinking about. You might be thinking about listening to me or wondering what I'm going to paint or what you're going to paint or if it's going to be a nice painting or a not a nice painting. We always build up these expectations in our head, but we're going to try to just let them go as they come. Just let them go. So we see a blank canvas and I'm going to get red, blue, yellow, and black and white. So I'll put them down and I'll just, whoops, notice. So meditation, is when you notice your awareness at any given moment. So I just noticed that the bottle squirted out at me <laughs> and I could meditate on that. Meditate on putting the paint, getting it on myself. The white is very, I have to, you have to do that first, I think. And I'll just notice my awareness at each moment. So I'm noticing the colors. I got some on my hands. I'll notice that. And I'll just think about what I want to do with these colors. So I've got my paint, got my water, and I like to start with a big brush a lot of the time. I'm going to make it nice and wet at first just to get a nice wash of a color and so that I can easily mix my colors together. So I've got, I'm going to start maybe with some black and white for fun. I don't know why. I'm going to let them mix together on the canvas. Just dip my paintbrush in the paint and allow your hand to guide you. No need to be anything special, just an activity to do on meditation. Now I'm going to do some smaller strokes I'm going to dip my paint in the water it's just to create a more liquidy texture of the paint and just allow your mind to Rest on the sensation of painting. Maybe you like it or maybe you don't like it. Just 
Just be aware of whatever occurs in your awareness. You recognize your awareness. So I'm recognizing that this is quite gray, a gray painting. I'm not even using any color yet. I don't know why. Maybe I'll add a touch of blue to my brush. I'm going to do some little strokes just to add some different texture. And you can do anything you want. I tend to just like flowy kind of paintings that don't really have any form. But you might want to draw like circles or squares or um, spheres or you're thinking more like shapes in that way. Um, structures. And that's okay. Just notice what your mind kind of likes to go to when it comes to painting and try not to judge it. Don't don't say, oh, that's wrong, because there is no wrong. We're just painting. Looking at color. Smearing color on a canvas. That's pretty much all we're doing. Don't have to think of it in any other way. Like, I'm an artist or whatever. You know, that's an identity, that's a judgment. It's fine to have that judgment. Like, ooh, I love it. It's just so, I don't know, whatever your judgment is. Or, I, or you hate it, maybe. Maybe you're just like, I'm a terrible artist. I should give up. Why am I even doing this? Just allow any of those thoughts to occur and just let them go. Watch them come and watch them go. They always change, constantly changing, constantly moving, constantly evolving. So I'm gonna add some yellow. And I don't know why, I don't really feel like mixing the colors today. I just feel like having them mix themselves kind of on the paint, on the canvas. And so I'm letting that happen. This is just how I'm feeling, I guess. Kind of feel like blending. Just to move some of the paint around that's already on the canvas. In whatever way I feel. This brush makes you want to kind of go like this. Make these little textures. I'm going to mix the colors now. I'm going to mix some yellow. I'll mix some yellow with some red. And that gets orange. <laughs> so we're going to make a little bit of orange. and just put it anywhere. Make kind of like weird blobs, shapes that don't really have any shape, particular name. They're just color splotches. And there doesn't have to be any particular reason. Maybe I'm just drawn to this color for now. And it might change. Like I'm going moving to a red now. And I don't know why. I just feel like using this fan brush 
kind of fanning it out. <laughs> I don't know if this is how you use the brush, it doesn't really matter. I just feel like doing that. Kind of blending it in into the surroundings. And again, just notice whatever you're inclined to do without judgment, without worrying about the result of the painting, like I, I'm having judgment about it, but I don't, I'm trying not to, so I'm feeling pretty just neutral, I guess. Like, no attachment. I think sometimes we attach our ego to what we're painting or what we're creating in any sense. And that can be difficult to um, create I feel, anyway, I feel it's difficult to create when my ego is attached to the thing because then I feel like pressure, <laughs> so much pressure to do something, you know, special when creating doesn't necessarily have to be special all the time. It can just be for the sake of creating in that moment for your senses to just calm down your nervous system. So I'll wipe off the brush. I like to have the colors kind of all mixed together right now. I might change that idea. I might want to maybe, yeah, maybe I'll add some black with the... This is a different kind of texture paint. So I don't know how well it's going to work with the... It's very drippy. But I'm going to try it. Kind of like the drippiness. This kind of makes it less predictable. Which is kind of fun in a way. Like you don't really know what's going to happen. And again, it doesn't have to be beautiful, it doesn't have to be artistic, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to like it. It's just for the sake of painting. Painting for the sake of meditating. And just observing. So now I'm going to mix some of the red, black, and blue to make a kind of dark purple. Some more red in there. I don't know if you can see. I like getting messy. I don't know why. I just like to be like, screw all the rules. Who cares? <laughs> this is just doesn't matter what it turns out to be. I really, we really need to remember that. It doesn't matter if I like it or I don't like it. The judgment is irrelevant. So I'll just be aware of myself, picking up the color, mixing it together. The like, the dislike. Got it? Maybe I'll just try to use the rest of the paint on the edges here. Because it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, if you're just kind of like, oh, this kind of looks cool, then just put it, put your brushes down and, and be done. Wash up. But, you know, if you take a second look, you're like, mm, could use this, could use that.
I like to flip it around too. Abstracts are often cool at different angles. Put some, just use some of the black. I don't know. Use some more of the other color for the edges here. Kind of put a sort of a frame, but not really a frame. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed my video. Come back for more. Like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Bye.